learning to let go is a profound journey, akin to sweeping away the dust of old memories and allowing the gentle breeze of new beginnings to waft through the corridors of our lives. Welcome, seekers of serenity, to our exploration of detachment. Here, amidst the chaos of existence, we embark on a voyage of self-discovery and emancipation, guided by the timeless wisdom of detachment. In the tapestry of our lives, we often find threads of attachment woven intricately into the fabric of our being. These ties, though once comforting, can become burdensome shackles, hindering our growth and stifling our spirits. But fear not, for within the depths of detachment lies the key to liberation. Throughout this odyssey, we shall traverse the landscapes of our emotions, shedding the weight of bygone years and embracing the boundless possibilities that lie on the horizon. Together, we shall unlock the secrets of releasing what no longer serves us, clearing the path for new vistas of joy and fulfillment. So, dear traveller, if you find yourself burdened by the weight of the past or yearning for a brighter tomorrow, join us as we embark on this transformative quest. Through introspection, insight, and the gentle guidance of our shared humanity, let us learn to dance in the gentle rhythms of detachment and rediscover the essence of our true selves. Welcome to our journey of discovery. Chapter 1 Embracing Solitude In the vast expanse of existence, amidst the bustling throngs of humanity, there exists a sacred space, a space untouched by the clamor of the external world. This space is solitude, a sanctuary of the soul where the tumultuous currents of life ebb and flow in silent reverence. Solitude, often misconstrued as a desolate wasteland of isolation, is, in truth, a fertile ground for introspection and self-discovery. It is a realm where the cacophony of external voices fades into whispers, allowing the voice of our innermost being to rise above the fray. To embrace solitude is to embark on a journey of profound significance, a journey that traverses the labyrinthine depths of our consciousness, unraveling the mysteries of our existence with each step. It is a journey fraught with uncertainty and self-reflection, yet imbued with the promise of enlightenment and transformation. In the hallowed halls of solitude, we encounter the raw essence of our being, the unadorned truth of who we are, stripped bare of the masks we wear in the world. Here, amidst the gentle cadence of our breath and the rhythmic beat of our heart, we find solace, a refuge from the chaos that reigns beyond the confines of our inner sanctum. But solitude is more than mere refuge. It is a crucible of self-awareness, a crucible in which our fears, desires, and aspirations are forged into the steel of our character. It is here, in the quiet recesses of our solitude, that we confront the shadows that linger in the depths of our psyche, shining the light of awareness upon the darkest corners of our soul. And yet, in the midst of this solitary sojourn, we discover a profound sense of liberation, a liberation that transcends the limitations of the physical world and elevates us to a higher plane of consciousness. It is a liberation born of self-acceptance and self-love, a recognition that our worth is not contingent upon the approval of others, but springs forth from the depths of our own being. So let us embrace solitude, not as a burden to be borne, but as a gift to be cherished, a gift that grants us access to the boundless reservoir of wisdom and insight that resides within us. For it is in solitude that we find the courage to confront our innermost fears, the clarity to discern our true purpose, and the strength to chart our own course in the vast expanse of existence. Chapter 2. The Dance of Detachment In the grand tapestry of life, we are entwined with myriad threads, threads of relationships, possessions, and experiences that weave the fabric of our existence. Yet, amidst this intricate web, there exists a delicate dance, a dance of detachment that invites us to release our grasp on the ephemeral and embrace the eternal. Detachment, often misunderstood as a cold and aloof detachment from the world, is, in essence, a profound act of liberation. 
a liberation from the chains of attachment that bind us to the transient pleasures and pains of mortal existence. It is a dance of surrender, a surrender to the ever-shifting currents of life and the immutable flow of time. To embark on the dance of detachment is to embark on a journey of self-discovery, a journey that leads us beyond the confines of our ego and into the boundless expanse of our true nature. It is a journey fraught with challenges and trials, yet imbued with the promise of freedom and self-realization. In the dance of detachment, we learn to relinquish our attachments to the external trappings of success and status, to the fleeting pleasures of wealth and fame. We recognize that true fulfillment lies not in the accumulation of material possessions, but in the cultivation of inner peace and contentment. But detachment is not synonymous with renunciation. It is not a wholesale rejection of the world, but rather a re-evaluation of our relationship to it. It is a recognition that our worth is not defined by the roles we play or the possessions we acquire, but by the depth of our compassion and the expansiveness of our consciousness. As we waltz through the intricate steps of detachment, we discover a profound sense of liberation, a liberation from the tyranny of desire and the bondage of expectation. We learn to embrace the impermanence of life and to find solace in the eternal rhythm of creation and destruction. And so, let us heed the call of the dance of detachment, to release our attachments with grace and humility, and to embrace the ever-unfolding mystery of existence with open arms. For in the dance of detachment, we discover the true essence of our being, a being that transcends the limitations of the material world and shines forth with the radiant light of eternal truth. Chapter 3. The Art of Letting Go In the gallery of life, amidst the masterpieces of joy and sorrow, there hangs a painting unlike any other, a painting that embodies the sublime beauty of letting go. This is the art of detachment, the art of releasing our grip on the past and surrendering to the infinite possibilities of the present moment. To master the art of letting go is to cultivate a spirit of resilience and adaptability, a spirit that flows with the ever-changing currents of existence without clinging to the illusions of permanence. It is a journey of unburdening, a shedding of the layers of ego and attachment that obscure the brilliance of our true nature. In the art of letting go, we learn to untangle the knots of our past, the wounds that bind us to memories of pain and regret. We acknowledge the validity of our emotions without allowing them to dictate our present reality. Like a brushstroke on canvas, we paint over the scars of the past with strokes of acceptance and forgiveness, transforming them into pathways of healing and growth. But letting go is not merely an act of releasing, it is also an act of embracing, a welcoming of the unknown with open arms and an open heart. It is a recognition that in the void left by what we release, there exists the potential for new beginnings and fresh possibilities to emerge. As we delve deeper into the art of letting go, we discover the inherent impermanence of all things, the fleeting nature of joy and the transient nature of sorrow. We come to understand that attachment is the root of suffering and that true freedom lies in relinquishing our attachment to outcomes and expectations. And so with each breath, with each heartbeat, we practice the art of letting go, letting go of who we think we should be, of what we think we should have, and of where we think we should go. For in the spaciousness of letting go, we find the freedom to simply be, to be present, to be authentic, and to be at peace with whatever arises. In the art of letting go, we discover the exquisite beauty of surrender, a surrender to the flow of life and the wisdom of the universe. And in that surrender, we find ourselves embraced by the vastness of existence, held in the loving embrace of the infinite. Chapter 4. Embracing the Unknown In the tapestry of life, there are threads of uncertainty woven into every pattern, a reminder that the only constant is change. Yet, it is our natural inclination to seek stability, 
to cling to the familiar shores of the known, even as the tides of time carry us inexorably towards the unknown. But what if we were to embrace the unknown with open arms, welcoming it as a friend rather than fearing it as a foe? What if we were to see uncertainty not as a threat, but as an invitation to explore new horizons and expand our understanding of ourselves and the world around us? In the art of detachment, we are called to surrender our need for control, to release the illusion that we can dictate the course of our lives with certainty. Instead, we learn to navigate the currents of uncertainty with grace and resilience, trusting in the inherent wisdom of the universe to guide us on our journey. Embracing the unknown is an act of courage, a willingness to step into the abyss of possibility without knowing what lies on the other side. It is a recognition that growth and transformation often occur in the fertile soil of uncertainty, where the seeds of new beginnings take root and flourish. As we journey into the unknown, we may encounter fear and resistance, the echoes of our conditioning and the whispers of our insecurities. But it is precisely in these moments of discomfort that our greatest opportunities for growth arise. For it is when we lean into our fears, when we confront our doubts head on, that we discover the depths of our strength and resilience. Embracing the unknown is also an act of surrender, a letting go of our attachment to outcomes and expectations, and a surrender to the flow of life as it unfolds. It is a recognition that the path ahead may be shrouded in mist, but that with each step we take, the way becomes clearer and our footing more sure. In the art of detachment, we learn to trust in the wisdom of the unknown, to embrace the mysteries of existence with curiosity and wonder. And in doing so, we open ourselves to the infinite possibilities that lie beyond the horizon, ready to greet us with open arms. Chapter 5 The Dance of Detachment Detachment is a delicate dance a rhythmic interplay between holding on and letting go, between attachment and freedom. Like a skilled dancer, we must learn to move gracefully between these two polarities, finding our balance in the ebb and flow of life's ever-changing rhythms. At times, detachment calls us to release our grip on the familiar, to let go of the people, possessions and beliefs that no longer serve our highest good. It is an act of liberation, freeing ourselves from the bonds of attachment and opening our hearts to the vast expanse of possibility that lies beyond. But detachment is not simply about relinquishing that which no longer serves us. It is also about embracing what is, fully and completely. It is a celebration of the present moment, a recognition of the beauty and wonder that surrounds us in every breath and every heartbeat. In the dance of detachment, we learn to surrender to the flow of life, to trust in the wisdom of the universe and to surrender our need for control. We release our grip on the past and the future, allowing ourselves to be fully present in the here and now. Detachment is not a destination but a journey, a continual unfolding of self-discovery and growth. It is a process of letting go, of shedding the layers of conditioning and expectation that keep us bound to the past and the future. And as we release these burdens, we find ourselves lighter, freer, and more alive than ever before. But detachment is not always easy. It requires courage, patience, and an unwavering commitment to self-awareness. It asks us to confront our fears and insecurities, to challenge the beliefs and assumptions that hold us back, and to step boldly into the unknown. Yet in the end, the rewards of detachment are immeasurable, for in releasing our attachments, we discover a profound sense of peace, joy and freedom that transcends all limitations. We find ourselves dancing to the rhythm of life, moving with grace and ease through the ever-changing currents of existence. And in this dance of detachment, we come to realize that the greatest gift we can give ourselves is the gift of letting go, of releasing our grip on the past and the future, and embracing the infinite possibilities of the present moment. For it is in this surrender that we find true liberation and in this freedom that we discover the fullness of our being. Chapter 6 
embracing the unknown. In the journey of detachment, we inevitably encounter the vast expanse of the unknown, the uncharted territory of our deepest fears, desires, and aspirations. It is here, in the fertile soil of uncertainty, that we find the seeds of transformation, waiting to take root and blossom into new possibilities. Embracing the unknown requires a willingness to let go of the familiar, to relinquish our attachment to the known and venture boldly into the realm of possibility. It is a leap of faith into the abyss, trusting that beneath the surface lies the fertile ground of our true potential. Yet, for many of us, the unknown can be a source of fear and anxiety, a dark and foreboding landscape filled with hidden dangers and unseen obstacles. We cling to the safety of the familiar, afraid to venture beyond the boundaries of our comfort zone. But the unknown is not to be feared. It is to be embraced as the fertile ground of creativity, growth, and discovery. It is the blank canvas upon which we paint the masterpiece of our lives, each brushstroke a testament to our courage and resilience. In embracing the unknown, we open ourselves to the infinite possibilities of the universe, allowing ourselves to be guided by the currents of inspiration and intuition. We surrender our need for control and certainty, trusting that the universe will unfold as it should. And as we journey deeper into the unknown, we come to realize that it is not a destination, but a state of being, a continual unfolding of self-discovery and growth. We learn to dance with the uncertainty, to move with grace and ease through the ever-changing currents of life. For it is in the unknown that we find the true essence of who we are, the spark of divinity that resides within each of us, waiting to be ignited and unleashed. And it is in embracing the unknown that we find the key to unlocking our fullest potential and living a life of true purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 7. The Dance of Surrender In the dance of detachment, surrender becomes our graceful partner, guiding us with gentle hands through the twists and turns of life's ever-unfolding journey. It is through surrender that we release our grip on the reins of control, allowing the currents of the universe to carry us where they may. Surrender is not an act of weakness, but rather a profound act of courage, a willingness to let go of our preconceived notions, expectations and desires, and to trust in the wisdom of the higher self. It is a surrendering of the ego, the relentless voice of fear and doubt that seeks to keep us small and confined. In surrender, we open ourselves to the flow of life, allowing it to move through us with grace and ease. We release the need to force outcomes or manipulate circumstances, recognizing that true power lies in letting go and allowing things to unfold naturally. Yet, surrender is not passive resignation. It is an active participation in the dance of life. It is a surrendering of resistance and attachment, allowing us to move with the rhythm of the universe and to embrace the beauty and chaos of the present moment. Through surrender, we find freedom a liberation from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. We learn to trust in the process of life, knowing that everything happens in divine timing and for our highest good. And in the surrendering of the self, we discover a deeper sense of connection to ourselves, to others, and to the greater whole. We recognize that we are not separate from the universe, but rather integral parts of its infinite tapestry, woven together in a dance of love and unity. In the end, surrender is the ultimate act of love, a surrendering of the self to the greater whole, a merging of individual will with divine grace. It is in this surrender that we find peace, joy and fulfillment, and come to realize our true nature as beings of light and love. Chapter 8. Embracing the Unknown as we journey deeper into the realm of detachment, we inevitably encounter the vast expanse of the unknown, a place shrouded in mystery and uncertainty, yet pregnant with infinite possibility. Embracing the unknown requires us to release our need for certainty and control, and to step boldly into the uncharted territory of life. It is a journey of faith, a willingness to trust in the unseen forces that guide our path, 
and to surrender to the wisdom of the universe. In embracing the unknown, we free ourselves from the constraints of fear and limitation and open ourselves to the boundless potential that lies beyond the familiar confines of our comfort zone. We relinquish our attachment to outcomes and instead cultivate a spirit of curiosity and adventure, eager to explore the hidden treasures that await us on the other side. Yet, embracing the unknown is not without its challenges. It requires us to confront our deepest fears and insecurities and to relinquish the safety net of the known. It demands a willingness to let go of the past and to release the illusion of control, trusting instead in the natural flow of life. But it is in the embrace of the unknown that we discover our true strength and resilience. For it is here, in the midst of uncertainty, that we learn to lean into the discomfort and to find peace in the midst of chaos, we discover that true freedom lies not in the illusion of security, but in the surrender to the ever-changing dance of life. In the embrace of the unknown, we find liberation, a liberation from the constraints of the ego and the limitations of the mind. We come to realize that the unknown is not something to be feared, but rather something to be celebrated, a sacred realm of infinite possibility and potential. And so, as we journey deeper into the unknown, let us do so with open hearts and open minds, trusting in the wisdom of the universe and surrendering to the mysterious forces that guide our path. For it is in the embrace of the unknown that we discover the true magic and beauty of life and come to realize that the greatest adventures lie just beyond the horizon. Chapter 9. The Path of Surrender in the journey of detachment, we inevitably encounter the path of surrender, a path that calls upon us to release our grip on the reins of control and to surrender to the divine flow of life. Surrender is not a sign of weakness, but rather a profound act of courage and faith. It is a willingness to let go of our attachment to outcomes and to trust in the inherent wisdom of the universe. In surrendering, we relinquish the need to force or manipulate circumstances to conform to our desires and instead surrender to the natural rhythm of life. The path of surrender invites us to release the illusion of separation and to recognize our interconnectedness with all of creation. It is a journey of humility, a recognition of our own limitations and a surrender to a higher power that guides and sustains us. Surrender is not passive resignation, but rather an active participation in the unfolding of life. It is a willingness to cooperate with the universe and to align ourselves with the divine will. In surrendering, we open ourselves to the guidance and support of the universe and allow miracles to unfold in our lives. Yet, surrender is not always easy. It requires us to confront our deepest fears and insecurities and to release the need to control every aspect of our lives. It demands a leap of faith, a willingness to trust in the unseen forces that guide our path, even when the way ahead seems uncertain. But it is in the act of surrender that we discover true freedom and liberation. For in surrendering, we release the burden of the ego and open ourselves to the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our limited perception. We come to realize the true power lies not in the ability to control, but in the willingness to let go and allow life to unfold as it will. And so, as we walk the path of surrender, let us do so with open hearts and open minds, trusting in the wisdom of the universe and surrendering to the divine flow of life. For it is in surrendering that we find true peace, joy and fulfillment, and come to realize that the greatest gift of all is the gift of surrendering to the divine will. Chapter 10. Embracing the Unknown As we continue on our journey of detachment, we inevitably encounter the vast expanse of the unknown, a realm filled with uncertainty, mystery, and infinite possibilities. Embracing the unknown is not merely an act of resignation, but a courageous leap into the depths of our own being. It is a willingness to let go of the familiar shores of the known, and to venture into the uncharted waters of possibility. 
In embracing the unknown, we surrender our need for certainty and control and open ourselves to the magic and mystery of life. We come to realize that true growth and transformation can only occur when we step beyond the confines of our comfort zone and embrace the limitless potential that lies beyond. The unknown is not something to be feared, but something to be embraced. It is a fertile ground for creativity, innovation and discovery, a canvas upon which we can paint the masterpiece of our lives. Yet, embracing the unknown requires us to confront our deepest fears and insecurities. It demands that we let go of the need to have all the answers and instead trust in the wisdom of the universe to guide our path. It is in the unknown that we discover our true strength and resilience. For it is here, in the midst of uncertainty, that we are called to summon the courage to face our fears and step boldly into the unknown. And so, as we journey deeper into the unknown, let us do so with open hearts and open minds, trusting in the guidance of the universe and embracing the adventure that lies ahead. For it is in the unknown that we find the greatest treasures of all, the treasures of self-discovery, growth, and transformation. Chapter 11. Cultivating Inner Peace In the midst of life's chaos and uncertainty, cultivating inner peace becomes not only a desire, but a necessity. It is the anchor that keeps us steady amidst the storm, the refuge that offers solace in times of turmoil. Cultivating inner peace begins with a conscious choice, a choice to let go of the distractions and disturbances that pull us away from our center and to turn inward to find the calm that resides within. It is a process of quieting the mind, releasing the grip of worry and anxiety, and allowing ourselves to simply be fully present in the moment. In cultivating inner peace, we learn to let go of the need to control external circumstances and instead focus on cultivating a sense of inner harmony and balance. We practice mindfulness, bringing our attention to the present moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. We cultivate gratitude, focusing on the blessings that surround us and appreciating the beauty of life's simple pleasures. We embrace acceptance, recognizing that life is filled with ups and downs and learning to surrender to what is, rather than resisting what we cannot change. In the stillness of our own being, we discover a profound sense of peace, a peace that transcends external circumstances and emanates from the depths of our soul. And as we cultivate inner peace, we not only benefit ourselves, but also radiate that peace out into the world, becoming beacons of light and hope in a world that is often filled with darkness. So let us commit to the practice of cultivating inner peace each day nurturing the flame of serenity that burns within us and allowing it to illuminate our path with its gentle glow. For in the sanctuary of inner peace, we find refuge from the storms of life and discover the true essence of our being. Chapter 12. Embracing the Journey of Self-Discovery Life is an intricate tapestry woven with threads of experience, each thread contributing to the unique pattern of our existence. Within this tapestry lies the journey of self-discovery, a profound exploration of the depths of our being and the essence of who we are. Embracing the journey of self-discovery is akin to embarking on a grand adventure, a quest to uncover the truths that lie hidden within the recesses of our soul. It is a journey that beckons us to peel back the layers of conditioning and societal expectations, to delve deep into the core of our being and to unearth the authentic self that resides within. At the heart of this journey lies the courage to confront ourselves fully and unreservedly, to face our fears, our insecurities, and our vulnerabilities with unwavering honesty and compassion. It is a journey of self-reckoning where we confront the shadow aspects of our psyche and embrace them as integral parts of our wholeness. In embracing the journey of self-discovery, we open ourselves up to the myriad experiences that life has to offer. We become curious explorers of our inner landscape, venturing into uncharted territories of thought, emotion, and perception. 
With each step forward, we encounter new facets of ourselves, each one adding depth and richness to the tapestry of our being. Yet, the journey of self-discovery is not merely about introspection and self-reflection. It is also about action and embodiment. It is about taking the insights gleaned from our inner exploration and translating them into tangible shifts in our lives. It is about aligning our thoughts, words and actions with the truth of who we are and what we value most deeply. In embracing the journey of self-discovery, we learn to embrace uncertainty and change as natural aspects of the human experience. We relinquish the need for rigid control and instead surrender to the ebb and flow of life's currents. We recognize that growth often arises from moments of discomfort and challenge, and we welcome them as opportunities for transformation and expansion. Ultimately, the journey of self-discovery is a journey of self-love, a journey of learning to love and accept ourselves unconditionally, just as we are. It is a journey of self-compassion, where we offer ourselves the same kindness, understanding and forgiveness that we would offer to a dear friend. As we navigate this journey, we come to realize that self-discovery is not a destination to be reached, but an ongoing process, a continual unfolding of our truest selves. And in embracing this process wholeheartedly, we discover the freedom to live authentically, the courage to follow our hearts, and the wisdom to navigate life's ever-unfolding path. Chapter 13 Nurturing the Seeds of Resilience Resilience is the sturdy oak that stands tall amidst the tempest, its roots anchored deep within the earth. It is the gentle whisper of hope that persists in the darkest of nights, guiding us through adversity with unwavering grace. Nurturing the seeds of resilience is a sacred act of self-care, a commitment to cultivating inner strength and fortitude in the face of life's challenges. At its core, resilience is the capacity to bounce back from setbacks, to adapt to change, and to thrive in the midst of adversity. It is not about avoiding difficulties or denying pain, but rather about embracing them as opportunities for growth and transformation. Like a seedling pushing its way through the cracks in the pavement, resilience empowers us to find strength in the most unlikely of places. Nurturing resilience begins with cultivating a mindset of optimism and hope, a belief in our own ability to overcome obstacles and persevere in the pursuit of our goals. It is about reframing setbacks as stepping stones on the path to success and viewing challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. By shifting our perspective in this way, we harness the power of resilience to propel us forward, even in the face of adversity. But resilience is not just about mental fortitude. It also requires emotional strength and flexibility. It is about acknowledging and honoring our feelings, even when they are difficult or painful, and allowing our selves to experience them fully. By embracing our emotions with compassion and self-acceptance, we create a space for healing and growth to occur. In nurturing the seeds of resilience, we also cultivate a sense of connection and support within ourselves and with others. It is about reaching out for help when we need it, leaning on our loved ones for support, and offering a helping hand to those in need. By fostering a sense of community and belonging, we create a network of support that sustains us through life's trials and tribulations. Ultimately, nurturing resilience is an ongoing practice, a daily commitment to tending to the garden of our inner strength and fortitude. It requires patience, perseverance, and a willingness to embrace the full spectrum of human experience. But in doing so, we discover the profound resilience that lies within us, a resilience that enables us to weather life's storms with courage, grace, and resilience. Chapter 14, Embracing the Shadows. In the tapestry of life, there exists both light and shadow, each playing an integral role in the fabric of our existence. While we may gravitate toward the warmth and brightness of the light, it is in the depths of shadow that we often find the most profound lessons and opportunities for growth. 
Embracing the shadows is not an act of surrender, but rather an invitation to explore the hidden depths of our being and uncover the truths that lie buried beneath the surface. At times, the shadows may manifest as fears, insecurities, or unresolved traumas, those aspects of ourselves that we would rather keep hidden from view. Yet, it is precisely by shining the light of awareness into these dark corners that we begin to reclaim our power and transform our pain into wisdom. Embracing the shadows is an act of courage, a willingness to confront the parts of ourselves that we would rather deny or ignore, and to integrate them into the tapestry of our wholeness. But embracing the shadows is not just about confronting our inner demons, it is also about honoring the complexities of the human experience. It is about acknowledging the inherent duality of life, the interplay of light and dark, joy and sorrow, love and loss. By embracing the shadows, we open ourselves to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us, embracing the full spectrum of human emotion and experience. In the darkness, we often find the seeds of transformation, the potential for growth and renewal that lies dormant within us. It is in the depths of our struggles and challenges that we discover our greatest strengths and resilience, emerging from the shadows stronger, wiser, and more compassionate than before. Embracing the shadows is not about wallowing in despair, but rather about finding meaning and purpose in the midst of adversity, transforming our pain into fuel for growth and healing. Ultimately, embracing the shadows is an act of self-love and self-acceptance, a recognition of the inherent beauty and worthiness of our entire being, both light and dark. It is about embracing our flaws and imperfections, our wounds and scars, as integral parts of who we are. In doing so, we reclaim our power and authenticity, stepping into the fullness of our being with courage and grace. Chapter 15. The Dance of Surrender in the grand symphony of life, there is a subtle yet powerful melody that plays beneath the surface, a rhythm of surrender that guides us along our journey. Surrender is not a sign of weakness, but rather a profound act of trust and faith, a letting go of our need to control and manipulate the outcomes of our lives. It is in the surrender that we find freedom, liberation from the burdens of our fears and anxieties, to surrender is to release our attachment to the outcomes of our desires and instead trust in the inherent wisdom of the universe. It is a recognition that there is a greater intelligence at work, a divine orchestration that knows far better than our limited human minds. Surrendering does not mean giving up or resigning ourselves to fate. Rather, it is an act of alignment with the flow of life, a surrendering to the currents of destiny. In the dance of surrender, we learn to let go of our need to control and manipulate, allowing life to unfold in its own mysterious way. We release our grip on the steering wheel and instead allow ourselves to be guided by the gentle breeze of grace. It is in this surrender that we find true peace and serenity, a deep knowing that we are held and supported by something greater than ourselves. But surrender is not always easy. It requires a leap of faith, a willingness to relinquish our attachment to the familiar and step into the unknown. It requires us to confront our fears and insecurities, to trust in the process of life, even when it seems uncertain or daunting. Yet, it is in the surrender that we find our greatest strength, our deepest wisdom. For in the surrender we discover that we are not alone, that there is a divine presence guiding us every step of the way. We learn to trust in the unfolding of our lives, knowing that every twist and turn is leading us closer to our true purpose and destiny. And in the surrender, we find freedom, the freedom to be ourselves fully and authentically without fear or hesitation. So let us embrace the dance of surrender, allowing ourselves to be swept away by the currents of life. Let us release our need to control and manipulate trusting instead in the wisdom of the universe. And in the surrender, let us find true liberation, stepping into the fullness of our being with grace and gratitude. 
As we draw near to the end of our exploration, let us pause to reflect on the profound journey we have undertaken together. Through the depths of introspection and the heights of revelation, we have traversed the landscape of detachment, discovering its hidden treasures and unveiling its sacred truths. In the tapestry of life, detachment is the thread that weaves through every moment, guiding us toward greater clarity, freedom, and self-awareness. It is the gentle hand that releases us from the grip of attachment, allowing us to dance freely with the rhythms of existence. As we bid farewell to this chapter of our collective learning, let us carry forward the lessons of detachment with reverence and gratitude. Let us honor the wisdom we have gained and the transformations we have undergone, knowing that each step has brought us closer to the essence of our true selves. And so, as you journey onward, may you walk with a lightness of being unburdened by the weight of unnecessary attachments. May you embrace the ebb and flow of life with an open heart and a resilient spirit, trusting in the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. Remember, dear friend, that the path of detachment is not always easy, but it is infinitely rewarding. It is a journey of liberation, empowerment, and profound self-discovery, a journey that leads us ever closer to the radiant essence of our own divine nature. As we part ways, let us carry the light of detachment within us, shining brightly for all to see. And may we meet again someday in the boundless expanse of possibility, where the journey of self-discovery continues forevermore. Until then, may you be blessed with peace, love, and the unwavering courage to embrace the beauty of detachment in all its forms. Farewell, dear friend, and may your path be illuminated by the brilliance of your own inner light, 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 of your own inner light.